The Abel Tasman Coastal Trek is one of our best known great walks. It's a really popular destination in summer for day trippers, kayakers and trampers. But there's plenty going on in winter as well. Where are you from, Carolyn? I'm from Argentina. Why are you tramping in the middle of winter? Uh, I think because there's not much people. I have a couple of friends that came here in summer and they told us that there's, it's pretty crowded. The Abel Tasman Track is 51 kilometres long. There are four hut sites and 21 campsites, which I bet makes it a busy job for you in the winter. Yeah, well it does, yeah, definitely in the winter because I'll be going through and checking a lot more campsites. In the summertime there's a warden at each of the main huts basically and they check the campsites around that hut but in the winter it's, it's moving between them and checking all the campsites along the way. And just a lot of maintenance in the winter time as well. Uh, there's a track gang working in the park and the winter time obviously the best time to do it. There's, there's not a lot of people to uh, sort of disturb their work. There are 200,000 visitors a year to this track. 200,000, a lot of people are uh, here. So in the summertime it's, it's really, it is busy and the wardens are dealing with a lot more um, questions than, than possibly in the winter. The water taxi we took uh, near a seal colony was, which was great up on Tonga Island and then um, dropped, it got dropped off at a little port called Tonga Totara Nui and it's been a nice hike. A lot of rain but that's okay. Paulie, what's your involvement here at the Abel Tasman Track? Well, look, I'm a water taxi driver for a local uh, kayaking company. How do you work in with Doc? Well, we uh, obviously Everybody stays in the dock huts and stuff like that, so we organise, uh, make sure they've got the right paperwork and stuff. Uh, things have changed in the last year or so. Everybody has to have um, bookings through the internet, things like that. And what about out on the water? Well, we, we travel through the marine reserve all the time, and we have kayaks and stuff in the marine reserve. And over the summer time, there's lots of people that are in the park that don't know the rules or uh, hang out in the marine reserve and, go, and stick a fishing rod over the sides. So, we kind of go alongside them and tell them that um, if they've got $250,000 in their pocket, they can keep fishing. It's an amazing office and uh, I love sharing it with people. Martin, where are you from? I'm from Peru, South America. Why are you tramping in the middle of winter? Because you don't see any people, that's why. Summertime, a lot more swimming, of course, yeah, yeah, off the beach. Do you want to swap jobs? <laughs> for, for a job in the office in Wellington? Yeah. Not in your life. The great thing about the Abel Tasman Coastal Track is that you can do it in winter or summer. It's relatively easy, so anyone can do it. And when you get sick of walking, you can always jump in a kayak.